Once upon a time, on a Christmas Eve night, in an office by the lake sat a stooge and his boss during Michigan's copper strike. The miners demanded wages fair. I mean, the copper mine owners, though, they didn't care. <laughs> the workers all gathered at night for a feast because it was Christmas. They said we should enjoy it, at least. They danced and they drank, having a ball, up a narrow staircase at the Italian hall. The stooge left the office with the streets filled with snow. He knew what to do, but the question was how. The mines all said empty. The copper was untouched. The Clement and Hecla Mining Company wasn't making a buck. The strikers should pay, <laughs> the bosses declared. I mean, come on, unions don't matter with all members impaired. So the stooge climbed the steps to join the party. There was room, uh, yeah, but it was hardly. So the folks, yeah, they had no way to know what came next. But the stooge, he had a plan, and it was vile and complex. Fire! <laughs> He yelled, his voice ringing out, and the crowd, obviously in a panic, ran to get out. With no room to move, they had little choice. It was all men for themselves, even children and wives. The blood started to spill. I mean, the corpses were piling high, and the chaos and fear, nobody, nobody noticed the lie. The fire, it seems it was never a thing. It was a lie told by Stooge to punish, it was mean. And the deaths only grew higher in the Christmas Malie. I mean, the count in total, it came out to 73. And that's the poor story <laughs> of a Christmas macabre. An unfortunate story that started out with a freaking job. 